Hi, is Doug there? Yeah, this is him. Hi, Doug. This is Camilla. I'm calling from Blairandflowers.ky, and uh, we started up this company, and we need a little bit more help uh, promoting it. So what we're doing is we're offering a free dozen red romantic roses to you, uh, and all we ask for in exchange is that you use us next time you buy flowers or tell your friends about us and uh, just get our name out there. Again, it's Blairandflowers.ky. How, do you, how do you get my name? Uh, it's on a list. It's on a list. The list from where? Like, why? I, I, it's, I don't Is it, this like a telemarketing thing? This it's is pretty random. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind of like a telemarketing thing, but on the island, it's like a, it's just a local list, and uh, it's in your benefit. You get free dozen red roses just for taking a small little survey. Is that okay? I'm good. No, I don't really need any. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. If they're free flowers. I'll even throw in an extra dozen if you do this. Why well, I, I don't really need flowers for anybody, so I'm good. Do you but have a you. Do you have a special you person in your life? I mean, I don't really. I'm not like a flower. I don't need to send flowers to anybody. It's not like it's not my thing. So okay. Like well, I said, I'm, are you, I mean? I appreciate it, but no. I'm, they're I'm free. Good. I'm good. I don't need any. I understand that they're free, but like I'm not. That's not my thing. Like I'm not like a flower. Send flowers to somebody type of dude. Okay, just for my you curiosity, know? do you, have you ever sent flowers to anyone? I don't know. Maybe like to my mom once on like Mother's Day. I don't know. Uh, okay. I'm not. I, I just don't. That's not my thing. Flowers, like so. I don't know. So I, I try to find better ways to, to express myself to people. So. Uh, oh, do but, you have a girlfriend though? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't have a girlfriend. Okay, you seeing anyone special? Am I seeing anybody special? I'm yes. Getting kind of personal. Sorry. Like, asking for flowers. To asking. <laughs> are you asking me out on a date? What's going on? I no, know. It does I, sound. I mean, Sorry. Hi, Doug. How are you? This is uh, Blake. I'm on for Quality Assurance. What? I'm on for Quality Assurance. How are you today? Uh, I'm good. What's uh, going on? I'm sorry. Sir? Was uh, Camilla a little inappropriate on the phone call? Uh, no, nah, I, nah, I just don't really need flowers. And, you know, she's asking me if I'm dating anybody. I'm just like, <laughs> all right, I'm good. I don't need the flowers. I'm good. Well, so, hey, well I mean, listen. I, hey. I appreciate the gesture, but, like, I don't need any, so... Hey. I'm, me. Hey, dude, that's actually Aaron, and I'm Blake, Sorry. and you're on our radio show here on X1071. You ever listen to the show? Ever listen to the station? Shut up. <laughs> How are yeah, you? Yeah, I listen to the station. I listen to the station. Hey, listen, we're, we called you randomly, dude, because we're doing a topic on dating and things to not do when you're on a date. And one of the topics... Don't send flowers? <laughs> right, don't send flowers. <laughs> no, but let me ask you a question, oh, though. Um, I, have you All been... Right. Do you, do you, so you date around? You don't have somebody serious? I don't date around, but I mean, like, I don't have a serious, like, a serious girlfriend. I'm like dating around, but you know. Well, have you ever, uh, is, have you ever been on a date and a girl has pulled out like her BlackBerry or phone and either texted or sent to somebody? Like, ended up like just texting the whole time that you're out together. That ever happened to you? <laughs> oh boy, uh, maybe. You find that annoying? Yeah, it's probably have. Yeah, it's super annoying. So you think it's rude to be on a BBM, say, during a date? Uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's kind of rude. Have you ever okay. done that yourself? Have you ever texted while you've been on a date? Yeah, I have. I'm not gonna lie, I have. And and who like typically like when you're texting, say you're out on a date and you're texting someone, who is it that you're texting? I don't know, just like friends or if it's work stuff, then maybe I'll be sending like a work email. Like I have my all my, you know, work stuff on my phone. So, Have you ever been on a date with another girl and sent a BBM to a different girl? <clears throat> um, I don't know. I mean, probably not. I'm not like that type of dude, really. Let, no, seriously, be honest, though. I'm telling you the truth. Like, I, I'm not that type. Like, I'm not, I don't know. Like, I, I don't sit around and think about it. You know what I mean? But, like, I'm not, I'm not like a player or anything that's, like, doing that. So, probably not. You can tell us the truth. I'm telling you the truth. I don't know what you guys want. We're, you, we're your best <laughs> friends. <laughs> yeah, I, today apparently you are. <laughs> hey, Doug, uh, I want to introduce you yeah. to someone you may know named Sarah, who's been listening in on this phone call. She kind of put us up to calling you today. Do you know Sarah? Oh, boy. Yeah, I do. Say hello to Sarah. Hi, Doug. Hey, what's going on? Hey, <laughs> how are you? So you put them up to this, huh? So listen, Kinda, yeah. Sarah's a little perturbed that you were uh, out on a date together, and, dude, you were on your phone the entire time. How rude. 
I, I I know I, I it's it is rude. I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and say that it, it wasn't. I'm sorry, it was rude. I I just I didn't mean, know what was going on. Like if you were texting another girl, like if you kept saying all this great stuff, but then your face would be in your phone, and I was like, what's going on? Yeah, it isn't no, very polite, and you did agree no, when we I, asked you earlier that you was really rude. I know, I know. It's I I, I know. I don't know, be, be honest, dude. Were you setting up like the, uh, the once you dropped her off, you're kind of setting up this, the next thing? <laughs> totally. The, yeah, that's totally. I what knew I was it. Doing. I had like, oh, yeah, there was so, like, it, it was weird. It was like 20 girls at one time. It was so crazy. That's what I <laughs> thought it was. <laughs> Late night rendezvous. <laughs> yeah, right? No. And, I and then, then early morning night. rendezvous. Ooh. Honestly, I was, I was sending a couple work emails. Like, I had some issues. I didn't really want to talk about it because it probably would have been super boring for you, but. I just was I like, would have preferred I, I just you had a couple me about it actually. Well, I I know, and I mean it was, but it's like, have you ever got like a a stressful work email, and it's like you're doing something, but it's like all you can think about is this work issue. It, it was like stressing me out, and I just wanted to get it done so I can enjoy my night. I don't want to sit here and talk about because then it would have just to me. I thought it would have just kind of like ruined the night. Yeah, so but like, if you're uh, work is a certain time, and sometimes you just gotta say, look. I'll deal with it tomorrow. When I'm at work, this is my personal what happened, time. What happened was Doug <laughs> photocopied his ass cheeks on the uh, copier at work and forgot to. <laughs> well, then, then you need away. to take care of that. <laughs> yeah, throw yeah. away the copies. That's funny. And clear the machine, clear the cash. Um, my boss was mad at me too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so would you I go? Was mad. Hey, would you go on another date and say not? And you wouldn't bring I, your phone, and you'd leave your phone at home. I will do. I will do one better. I will. I will go on another date, and I will leave my phone. Well, I can't leave it at home because I'd have to like call her when I'm picking her up. But I will leave my phone in the car the whole time. That sounds pretty yeah. nice. Would you buy her yeah, flowers? Right? <laughs> would you get her flowers? Yeah, what's, uh, what's your deal? In, this, in this instance, in this instance, I, I would. Yeah, I would come with some flowers. Did, like, did flowers oh break God. up with you or something? I, no, just just for the record, like I just think it's kind of corny. Like I, you know, I don't. It's like everybody's like, oh, send flowers for everything. It's like I just would prefer like a, you know, to tell somebody how I feel or like a card or like some sort of thing that requires more thought than just going to get flowers. I gotta I agree with Doug. Like the easy way out. It's just the easy way out. So, I agree with you, Doug. Hmm. I love flowers. I tell you what, though. flowers. Re- it's just like, you know, flowers remind me of a funeral. How? Because I just yeah, went it's to. Like, it's not creative at all. It's not creative. It's just like, oh, okay, I love you. Flower. Happy Mother's Day. Flowers. Fly. You know what I mean? It's no. not creative. It's not saying, you know, if you really like feel strongly about something, you should like go out of your way and do something or tell somebody how you feel rather than just getting them flowers and having them speak for you. You know what I mean? I agree with that. No, but this is this is serious. All girls like flowers. When I smell flowers, it reminds I, me of going yeah. to a funeral. That is because I went to morbid. I went to a lot of funerals when I was a little kid. So now flowers, the smell of flowers remind me of funerals. See, but that's weird. I like but I grew flowers. up and I went to a lot of funerals too. It's just I've never associated it. Ah, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, no wonder, anyways, Blake. So listen, just wanted, just wanted to clear the air. <laughs> so there's a uh, what is it? The fourth date now? Is there a fourth date? In yeah. the yeah, there is. Apparently, there's one with flowers, and I yeah. can't wait. <laughs> so wait, uh, where are you yeah, from? No where, where are you and from no originally, uh, Sarah? What uh, country are you from? Oh, I'm from Toronto originally. Okay, so... Uh, Canada. Aaron, break out your little statistic on how many dates it takes for Canadian women to sleep. How many dates it takes? <laughs> oh, what that? was that? It was. Uh, it only took like four dates. 4.3 so. 4. dates. Yeah, so like you're... Wait, the next date so looks Doug. like. <laughs> so Doug, Uh-oh. yeah. Looks like... Uh, I, gotta be, I gotta be getting close, right? <laughs> 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 gotta do a little manscaping. And she, Uh-oh. Hey, she said you're a good kisser too, dude. So... Oh boy! Wow, we've we've certainly talked about a lot of topics today, haven't we? We did. <laughs> there's, there's no no secrets, no secrets here, I guess. We did, yeah, we did. So listen, you guys go, yeah. uh, you kids go have fun. All right. Be safe yeah, out there, guys. Thank, thank you. Thank I'm you so guys. excited. Thanks, you guys. All right. See ya. <laughs> see ya. Thank you, guys. Okay. Bye. Right. Take care.